Water supply in Plateau State, north central Nigeria, has been a major concern with citizens having challenges in accessing portable drinking water from the state's water board. And in some cases, they have to depend on water vendors for the scarce commodity. In some areas, residents gather at some vandalized water pipes to fetch water for domestic use, while the taps in other areas are either dry or non-functional. And where they are available, it comes in once in a while. government's determination to solve the problem of water supply in the state gave birth to the water sector bill that was passed by the state's House of Assembly on the twilight of their departure and was equally signed into law. The bill when assented to will repeal three water laws in the state, which are one, water works law cap 137, 1963 laws of northern Nigeria. Two, Plato State Water Board Edit Number Four, 1991, and three, Plato Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Agency Puwasa Law, 2001. There are innovations in the B, which will keep in the efficient administration of the water sector in the state. Addressing journalists on the negative impact and the inherent dangers of the law, the Amalgamated Union of Public Corporations, Civil Service, Technical and Recreational Services employees says the law is not in the interest of the people. But it can still be repealed because to the best of our knowledge and our uh, ability, it's not in the interest of the overall interest uh, of uh, plateau masses. So we are going to, we are calling on the community, uh, stakeholders, Everybody, this is not a union issue. This is a public health issue that uh, uh, involves everybody. With the union threatening to take up the government on grey areas of the law, perhaps the new state House of Assembly and the state government should take a look at the controversial areas and make wider consultations with acceptable inputs in addressing the issue of water supply in the state.